My name is Nigel Tan. I'm the president of the 16th Annual Black Solidarity Conference. I'm here to welcome you to our keynote dinner and evening with Dr. Cornel West. Yeah. One of our esteemed panelists, uh, Ray Baker, actually, we were having a conversation. Uh, it's especially pertinent to uh, the occasion tonight. And that sort of is the, the inherent value in any event like this happening on, on Yale's campus. We, we walk through hallways and in classrooms and auditoriums talking about ways to uplift the black community. Uh, in, the, in, in these same hallways and classrooms, uh, years ago, black people were for, forbidden to enter. And I think that sort of represents the true value. Regardless of the keynote speaker, regardless of the concert, regardless of the amount of people who come out, regardless of the panelists, there's real value in being surrounded with beautiful black people um, who are like-minded. The true symbolic nature in that is really the way in which we use it to propel ourselves and make the change that we so often talk about. I mentioned the fact that years and years ago we weren't allowed in these same buildings in a way to inspire us to make the change that still needs to happen today. This is indeed a celebration of how far we've come, but it can't stop there. It's a celebration to inspire us to go further. And with that, I welcome you to the keynote dinner. Please enjoy the meal. And next we'll have the invocation by Pastor Dexter Upshaw. Thank you. Let us pray. O oh Lord Almighty, God and Creator of all, we thank you for this gathering, the 16th Annual Black Solidarity Conference at Yale. We also thank you for the purpose of this assembly, to examine the issues related to educational and economic empowerment, and explore solutions that will strengthen our communities, protect the poor and the less fortunate, and create a societal atmosphere where every child, regardless of race or ethnicity, can grow up to reach their maximum potential and become citizens of integrity who will give back to the world because someone gave to them. As a preacher of the gospel, I reflect on the transformative power of Jesus Christ, not only to save individuals, but to transform communities and ultimately conquer even the worst of systematic oppression. I recognize and embrace the two greatest commandments that you gave us, to love you with all your heart, soul, and mind, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. So Lord, as we stand in the shadow of Yale University, we invoke your presence. We ask you if it is your will to bless the efforts of this conference. When Yale was founded in 1701, its founders envisioned a place where youth may be instructed in the arts and sciences, and through the blessing of Almighty God be fitted for public employment, both in church and civil state. I pray, Lord, that you would continue this vision and cultivate a generation of young leadership who will, who will, through your blessing, will embrace the urgency of now, who will be concerned with the least of these, who will go into every realm of society with a mindset to serve rather than to be served. This I pray in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen.
thank you so much. Um, at this time, we'd like to invite any alums in the audience up to sing our last song with us. Thanks again.
MA or PhD in philosophy at Princeton. He has taught at Union Theological Seminary, Yale, Harvard, and the University of Paris. Dr. West has written 19 books and edited 13 books. He is best known for his classic Race Matters, Democracy Matters, and his new memoir, Brother West, Living and Loving Out Loud. He appears frequently on The Bill Mayer Show, Colbert Report, CNN, and C-SPAN, as well as on his dear brother, Tavis Smiley's PBS TV show. He can be heard weekly on the Smiley and West radio program from Public Radio International, PRI. Smiley and West is an energetic radio program that is a fusion of thought-provoking, intelligent, and stimulating dialogue on every subject from news and politics to entertainment and culture. West made his film debut in The Matrix and was the commentator with Ken Wilber on the official trilogy released in 2004. He also has appeared in over 25 documentaries and films, including Examined Life, Call and Response, Sidewalk, and Stand. Last, he has made three spoken word albums, including Never Forget, collaborating with Prince, Jill Scott, Andre 3000, Kali Kali, Harris One, and the late Cheryl Levera. His recent spoken word interludes were featured on Terrence Fletcher's Choices, which won the Grand Prix for the Best Jazz Album of the Year of 2009, the Cornell West Series Second Run, and the Raheem Devon Love and Peace Master, Love and War Masterpiece. Excuse me. In short, Cornell West has a passion to communicate to a vast variety of publics in order to keep alive the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr., a legacy of telling the truth and bearing witness to love and justice. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Cornell. Band. Oh, how it plays. And Al Green. And the 
Ella Fitzgerald, Nina Simone, and Donnie Hathaway, and the James Brown, oh yeah. They part of Black Solidarity Conference, y'all. We haven't even got to the jazz musicians yet. My brother Andre and Trisha Cole in there. Oh, we just talk about Cole training Mary Lou Williams. We're going to get to that tonight. I want to acknowledge the poet in our midst. She is the grand poet. We love her, we respect her. She is Professor Elizabeth Alexander. Not just the president's poet, but the people's poet, too. The people's poet, too. Sitting next to her is Professor Crystal Finkster. We're so very glad to have her here. Give her a hand. Give her a hand. Sitting next to Brother Rodney Cohen, who is his sister Diesel, good to have him here. Straight from Atlanta to New Haven. Oh, New Haven, bless you. They have you sitting next to him. Our dear sister Vera. Our dear sister Vera. Wells. But I want to get to F. Vera F. Wells. She's the director of the papers of one of the towering figures in the history of Yale University. She was the first black woman to gain tenure at Yale. I knew her so well. Her name was Professor Sylvia Boone. Give Sylvia Boone and Vera Wells a hand. Appreciate the work that you're doing, Sister So never forget, Sister. Just to sit. I want to acknowledge my dear brother, Marichelle Gently. Gentry, absolutely, who is the Dean of Students, where is he? Where is he? Give him my hand. I'm so blessed to have you here, brother. So blessed to have you here. I want to acknowledge my very dear brother. We go back almost 30 years. I was first tenure professor at Yale in 1984. The first time I gained access to tenure. That's 27 years ago. And I met a brilliant brother who was a freshman then majoring in philosophy. He's the only black person majoring in philosophy at Yale. And I was professor of philosophy of religion at Yale Divinity School. His name was Andre Willis. And he is now in the same position where I was teaching professor of philosophy of religion at Yale Divinity School, moving from freshman to Yale, a PhD to Harvard, and still going strong. Andre Willis, Professor Andre Willis. Love this brother. Love this brother so much. 30 years of struggle together, brother. We're still going strong and sitting next to him, of course, not just his lovely beloved wife, but also one of the towering figures in cultural studies in our nation. She's head of American studies at Brown University. She's written the classics on hip hop from Black Noise to Longing to Tell, a powerful text having to do with the stories of our young sisters dealing with sexual abuse is a text that deserves much more attention. She's offered many other texts. Professor Trisha Rose, Trisha Rose, Trisha Rose, love you, love you, love you. So good to have you here. Oh, my dear brother Coleman, so good to see you as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want to acknowledge the police chief. Slow down. I was here in the 1980s. How oh, figures like John Blasher King, Henry Lewis Gates Jr. was here, a professor, a tenure professor, but here already a powerful presence. My dear sister Bell Hooks, you all know who Bell Hooks is? One of the great, one of the great women of letters. She and I used to go over to Brick and Wood and just dance all night. We always have to have a little negotiation with the police. Let them know that we was going to cut a rug and everything would be fine. 